Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Uh, today I will try my best to have a really quick video because I have some uh, meetings just sh uh, scheduled for after this recording, so I will have to be quick. Uh, so let's go immediately to screen share. Let me just change to the price of time model. So regarding the price of time model, we have been on track since a few days ago. We are now again above. We are now above the cycle of 2017, which is the yellow candle pattern you see on the screen. And we are again above it. So we are still on track to fulfill the price of time model um, as expected. So let's take a look at the RSI. The RSI is in a very good position. We are about to touch. We are about to touch again the orange dashed line, which is the level of the RSI after the 75% correction we had during the cycle of 2013. You remember I've been discussing this already for uh, some time. Uh, this was the two top cycle, the local top in the middle and then the final top, which was of course the market uh, top for that bull cycle. So after the first top, the first local top, we corrected around Bitcoin, corrected around 75%. And this was the, uh, the orange dashed line was exactly the level of the RSI after that 75% correction. So we are now getting back up on the weekly RSI and almost touching the orange dashed line, which is a very good indication. Let's go to the MRI. The weekly chart remains almost as the previous video. Uh, the bar is now close on the MACD is very, very close to be the same height as the previous bar. So the gap is even um, smaller than we had anticipated yesterday. Uh, the MACD continues to be bearish. That's obvious. But uh, however, there are very good signs that the momentum for the bears is uh, ending. The RSI is now pointing back up again here on this MRI chart and the BitMEX funding rate we will check on the next chart. So let's take a look at the daily. So the daily shows us and for me right now, this is the best chart that I uh, I've been watching all day. And the reason is we are breaking out of the triangle that we had um, possibly for this bottom. So the candle now indicates that we are above the triangle line and just trying to break also the trend line that I plotted since uh, the end of last year, beginning of this year. So we are now trying to break not only the triangle, but also the moving average, the 20 period moving average SMA that is coming back down here, the green line, and also the trend line that was plotted before uh, months, uh, some months ago already. So it's not an easy task. We have been already above the trend line, but we had a bit of a retracement. So um, let's see how this develops. But so far, so good. Uh, the candle for the daily is breaking out of the triangle. And this is only a third green of a nine count. So even if we have a one to four uh, dead cat bounce to the upside, we still have one more candle probably tomorrow trying to break these all these resistances around the 40k level. So let's see how this develops. The RSI on the daily continues to go up too. So the volume is going down. However, that's not a very good sign. But overall, leaving the triangle is for the first time uh, a good indication that the bottom might be in and we probably will see some upside action for the uh, times to come. I don't know exactly how many because I forgot my crystal ball. And that's exactly the reason why I cannot say exactly as I predicted. But uh, the developments and the technicals show us that the probability of going up for some more time, even for a short period of time, is uh, very high. So the probability right now is that we break the triangle and probably get above the trend line, which is the white line you see here going up in this diagonal. And for the daily chart, that's it. We also have the MACD. The MACD, of course, bullish on the daily. We have already four days uh, of green bars and the blue line above the orange line. So they are increasing the gap uh, and also a good sign, a good indication of 
at least some short-term bullish price action so let's see how this evolves i will of course keep a close eye on the charts and see how this uh, breakout could develop let's take a look at the four hour uh, so here it is we are breaking out of the triangle but it's not been easy to um, sorry for that has not been easy to break the trend line resistance which was support previously but now it's resistance and also because on the four hours we have an MRI top which however has not been uh, really respected so far because this second candle here should be a red candle going again inside the triangle but it has uh, maintained the strength and probably going to retry to break this trend line resistance so let's see what happens this is the four hour of course so we will see it in three hours the new candle let's see where this one closes but we have good indications that we are going to retry again and again to break the trend line that we have there okay so that's it uh, the bitmax funding rate is actually uh, let's see below my threshold the green line is my threshold to the negative side and this is negative 0.07 so it's a, also a good indication of the market sentiment that we are probably going up because as you guys know the market likes to go in opposite directions of the bitmax funding rate so that's why i use it as a market sentiment for um some time already and it has been serving me well because the market sentiment uh, has been proven right every time we look at the bitmax funding rate and that's why i have this indicator here so let's see if the four hour will not uh so we have already so many things we have to break here we broke the triangle we are now breaking on the daily the 20 period sma we are trying to get above the resistance of the trend line and if like that wasn't enough already we also have on the four hour an mri top so let's see how all this evolves i hope that bitcoin can sustain this price level if not breaking the trend line at least sustain it for a few more uh candles just uh, going against the MRI top that we have here which would be in this case very good although uh, tone vase I bet will not be happy <laughs> if we, well I guess he will be happy because Bitcoin is going up but regarding the MRI indicator it will not be good news because this one probably could fail so let's see if it fails or not but there you go there you have it uh, let's just take a look quickly at gold so well now I can really say uh exactly as the mri top predicted we have a uh, gold going down so we had an mri top on the previous week just a few days ago and uh, as you guys know the mri top predicts that we have a correction afterwards at least a one to four correction so uh in between two or three or four candles so finally gold is going down and i bet some of it is going into bitcoin because that's why we are having so much strength fighting those resistances uh, so let's see how this all evolves but gold is finally going down i guess one not so good news is exactly the dollar so here it is the stubborn dollar is again going up but there is one good thing in the middle of all this because this candle closing like that will reset the count and we will not have uh, an eight and nine red so we will not have an mri bottom which in fact is uh, a good thing because with the mri bottom the probabilities of a reversal in the price action increase so in this case we have a reset of the weekly count we are now on a green one of nine but i don't expect the dollar to go uh, much further up all the, also because we have the 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 you know the moving averages are coming back down again and probably this was just a dead cat bounce so i hope this candle closes like this it uh, not going back down again to continue the red count but to reset the count and if that is the case we could uh, after that then start to go back down again with a new count and that will give us more probabilities of downside than having an MRI bottom so that's it for gold I'm not even going to check the SPX now because I don't have the time for that I just wanted to show you guys one final thing so here it is also on the chart I used to check the MACD the daily MACD we continue to go up on the MACD 
the distance is increasing between the orange and the blue so this is again a good sign on the daily and also if i zoom in here oops sorry guys i forgot to use my keyboard so if i zoom in here you will see that also on the daily the perspectives look very good for that triangle i showed you guys before and this is now officially a breakout of the triangle i hope it does not turn out to be a fake out but only time can tell so let's wait and see what is going to happen in the next hours or days until at least sunday when we close the week again and i will be very curious to see what happened uh, for the weekly close of the candle we are right now so just going back here very very quickly i will go back to the weekly chart just to check something i would like to see so if we close this weekly candle which is now an mri bottom warning you see the orange arrow over there if we close it around the 40k and a half so forty thousand five hundred dollars uh this is very bullish also because we are above half of the previous candle the the previous red candle here so two candles before and that is a very good sign that we recovered more than half of this big drop here that we had two weeks ago so that is a very uh, bullish sign too let's see how this all evolves and i will keep you guys posted if uh, something extraordinary happens so let me stop screen share okay guys so let me just say goodbye and the usual stuff if you enjoyed this content for today which was a bit shorter uh please uh gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new share it with your friends and i will now leave you guys with the wise words of sarge esterhouse of hill street blues all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there that's it, guys. Let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. Bye-bye and see you in the next one.